<laughs> Animal testing. The question is, should animals be used for biomedical research? This has been a heavy debate in our society, especially in the present. For this question, I decided to look at this through two lenses, ethical and social slash cultural. For the ethical lens, I will be talking about the psychological and physical effects on animals and the unmet rights for animals. For the social slash cultural lens, I will be talking about protests and movements and the influence on cultural and religious beliefs. Based on the two lenses I used for this question, I came to the conclusion that animals should not be used for biomedical research. Even though they have played a huge role in the history of scientific, scientific testing, it is not justified. This shows that we need to reevaluate how we are gathering research as well. Before I go into my argument, I want to talk a little bit more about the background of animal testing. There have been many different ways in the past that animals have been used inhumanely in testing from um, having test subjects eat foundations to being injected with insulin. But it's also helped with scientific advancements in different fields such as vaccines, disorders, and medicines. Even surgeries have been practiced on animals to up the success rates with doctors. But even with all these advancements, this form of research still has its flaws. Now, now I will be going back to the question, I will be looking at this through an ethical lens. The main issue that comes with animal testing is the ethical crisis that the animals face. Many animals experience so much pain, discomfort, and overall long-term suffering. And the, these highly st stressful situations cause these psychological and physical effects that cannot be altered. Main harm causes include invasive procedures, disease, and overall basic needs not being met. According to the article, The Rights of Animals by Sunstein 2003, the author explains that animals don't deserve suffering just because they can't communicate or reason with humans. The author argues that more laws could be placed in for animals to have more rights for them. So one example that I thought of for a law would be research training, and this would enforce education for researchers on the use of alternative methods and also ethical considerations associated with animal testing. And this law would also help enforce the three R's, which is replacement, reduction, and Sunstein writes that if taken seriously, provisions of this kind would do a great deal to protect animals from suffering, injury, and premature death. Laws like this show that mandating these types of stricter laws would help change animal testing drastically for the future. Next, I will be looking at the question through a social slash cultural lens. This type of biomedical research doesn't just affect animals, it affects people as well. There have been so many protests and movements worldwide based on this issue, which has caused overall violence, trespassing, harassment, and disruption in our society. Additionally, looking at this lens through a, a cultural aspect, religion can influence society's views on animal testing. Practices of faith always use animals and this is a very important symbol. In Article Attitudes Towards Animal Research by Ormandi 2014, the author explains how cultures oppose animal testing based on the specific animal being used. For example, Hinduism worships the cow. It is sacred to this religion because they believe it is the provider for all necessities. So when they hear about cows being tested on, they find it cruel and offensive. The cow is a culturally significant piece to what they practice every day, and this is just one of the many examples that supports Ormani's quote stating, this may in turn affect people's willingness to support or oppose the use of certain species for research purposes. Overall, animal testing's true colors are hidden because people don't prioritize ethical concerns. In my opinion, it's not just about science, it's also about morals. 
Showing the true issues of this problem would allow responsible people to make humane decisions and policies for the future of scientific research. Thanks, folks. Uh, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the process? Um, at first, I was kind of going to do research primarily on the fact that we could maybe stop animal testing like a little bit, but it would never fully go away. But as I was researching, I found that there are so many alternative methods to animal testing, such as I've heard a lot of people say like organ on a chip and the cell transplants and stuff like that. So um, I ended up switching it to a complete no because of all the other solutions that we have. Okay, thank you. Um, explain the level of certainty you have about your conclusion. I feel confident in my solution because, there, like I said, that I know that there are so many alternatives to animals being used in biomedical research. And I think um, going back to like kind of like the laws I said, I think like if advocates with higher power are able to kind of enforce these laws like this, then it would change animal testing drastically for the future and hopefully it would stop it completely. Okay, thank you.